Hi lovelies! Welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today is one of my favorite days of the week and that is Savings Challenge Day! Yay! This is, it has turned into absolutely one of my most favorite things to do. I have a Savings Challenge envelope that I stuff and when it gets chunky, I know that it's Savings Challenge Day! in which I pull out all of my savings challenges, my savings challenge trackers, and I just stop and fill them all up. If you're new here, please take a second, hit subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you would please take a minute and smash that thumbs up button. All right, so let's take a second, clean up what I lovingly refer to as my hot mess express. Um, let's get things put away, stuffed here, stuffed there. All right, there are a number of savings challenges that are going on today. Like I said, I have a savings challenge envelope in which I kind of when I do my budget and when I do my stuffing, I set that money aside. And I have a variety of different savings challenges that we'll talk about today. So I've got a nickel challenge, a $1 challenge that I'm done with. I have a home improvement challenge. I have a holiday challenge. I have a wedding challenge that we use for my daughter. And then I have a one month ahead challenge. And all of those today are going to, not all of them, I think like two of them won't, but the majority of them will get stuffed today with some type of cash. So we're gonna start with my emergency fund. I am doing the nickel challenge where you're supposed to save a nickel a day for 365 days. And if I did that, it ended up being the max was 1825 and it saved like $3,000. Well, I reprinted my sheet and because I reprinted my sheet, I decided that I was gonna go out to $20, five cents a day, until I made it to $20 and that ended up giving me $4,000. So huh, why not? This is a multi-year challenge for me. Um, this is probably year two of this. I am slowly building this up, no big rush, because this $4,000 will become part of my three to six month emergency fund. So we are working on paying down our debt before we really build up that emergency fund. So again, no big hurry to get this done. All right, so let's see what kind of money we have for it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars in cash, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. So that's 325 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95 a dollar plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 29. 0.29. The dime snuck in there. All right, so that's 14.54. So before I shade anything in, Let's go put away our change real quick. I try to be as frugal as I possibly can, spend money where I want to spend money on those pretty things and other things are just plain Jane so that I can save that money for something else that I think is most beautiful. And that's, this is just a Dollar Tree container in which I'm working on putting my change in. On the other hand, um, I splurged, bought some ink for my printer, printed this out. This is a free printable from the Budget Mom. And there we go. And that's where I choose to spend my money is on this kind of cute. So just always trying to budget for it and not spend out of pocket when I don't have it. All right, so 1454 is what we said we're gonna shade in here. So that's 1455, round down. Just means that I'll end up with a little bit more than my goal when I go to cash in all of my change. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right, so we are going to set this to the side. We'll come back to my 100 envelope challenge in just a minute. Let's get rid of all of that. Um, my $1 challenge for Christmas, we've already finished that. Let's get that out of the way. Home improvement, I try to save $10 at a time. I only have three. Home improvement will not get stuffed today. 
All right. So up next is my holiday challenge. I have $10 in there. Yay, go me. And my holiday challenge right now is being split between Thanksgiving and Halloween. A little goes into here, a little goes into there with the intent that when it's, do I have a pen? I do have a pen. So that when Halloween comes up, if my youngest wants to get something for Halloween, we have that money. If not, we are already building towards that Thanksgiving. So we're gonna add five, which will put $10 into here. Again, another budget mom envelope, so cute. And then Thanksgiving, we host Thanksgiving, so just trying to save up for it. We're gonna add five more, which will give me 72. All right, two, four, six, 70, 71, 72. All right, so that is my Thanksgiving. Those are my holiday savings challenges. Up next, we are in the process of saving for my daughter's wedding. It is an out of town destination wedding. It just so happens to be the halfway point between her family and or my, our family and his family. So we, I actually did a hundred envelope challenge for her. Um, I swore I'd never do a hundred envelope challenge again. However, I think that this is a good way for me to track what I'm saving. So because of that, and although this says hundred envelope challenge, really it's not an envelope challenge, really it's just a hundred challenge where every dollar value gets put in. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, I can't count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 57, 570, 575, 575. And that's going to be split into a variety of different envelopes that again, cheap meat made. Some are laminated, some are not. Um, we will be spending money on not a hotel, we're gonna be up there for almost a week. And instead of getting a hotel, we actually are getting like a, not an Airbnb, but essentially that's what it is. It's a rental, it's a cabin rental. And it uh, the price of it is like 840 something. So the goal is to save 850. There's 500 in here. We're gonna go ahead and add another 350 so that I have all 850 right on here. All right, so we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, grab too many, I think. We're gonna have to recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty. All right, so that one has all of its money in. Um, clothes is the next one that I'm really gonna focus on, and that's because we need to get, I need a dress, I need a suit for my son and my husband needs a new suit. So clothes is also a priority right now to get fully funded. There is four in here, the goal is five. So we're gonna add another 100, which will give me 500. I think this is gonna have to go up in value. Um, I was recently looking at mother of the bride dresses and was floored at the prices of them. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 500. But now at least I know that I have $500 that I can start to spend on clothes. Um, let's see, we have some money in gas. We have no money in food. We have no money in cash, no money in extras, miscellaneous, lottery, or souvenirs. All right, so uh, what do we have left? We have 125. We'll put five in there to bring that up to 150. And then I think we'll start on our cash. Yeah, we'll start on cash and we'll put 120 into cash. All right. So there's 120 in here now. All right, 120. And then five more. We'll bring this up to 150. Ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, one fifty. 10, 12, 14, 15, 150. So slowly working on, oh, I'm not liking this envelope. I laminated and I don't really like the laminated. So we're working on gas. Um, 
So although I put 600 on here, some of this gas actually will come out of one of my sinking fund envelopes called vacation gas. So we might, may or may not make it all the way to that 600 value, but that's the goal is to have 600 in here. And then we will slowly work on those extras, miscellaneous lottery and souvenirs. And extras are like, um, cause I know extras and miscellaneous kind of sound the same. Extras are if we want to go see any shows while we're up there. Oh, food, I forgot food. That's okay, we'll take care of food later. So now it's time to use my tracker so that I can make sure and see where I'm at in my goal. Um, oops, and my calculator just turned off. So we have 575 to stuff, minus 89, minus 88, minus 87, minus 86. Let's see where we are, all right. So we still have another 275 or 225 to stuff. Let's get down to 86. All right, there's my 86, so minus 85. All right, minus 84. Oop. And now I cannot do my 83. Instead, we are going to go do $56. All right, so slowly working this off, I have one full row done, yay! Love it when things get complete. And as I continue to put more and more in here, all of this will get shaded, which tells me I've got my $5,000, 5,050 to be specific. So there is hers, let me get this to the side. Don't need the calculator anymore. And now it's time for one of my favorite challenges. And that is my one month ahead savings challenge. I absolutely love my one month ahead challenge. It is a way that I have broken out a way to save about $5,000 so that my bills are one month ahead, exactly what it sounds like. And I'm doing it in small bite sized pieces. So I have 15 different envelopes here. Each one, I figured out how much I wanted to save. I then came in and figured out how much one icon would be and how many of them I have. So you may or may not be able to see it, but I have 32 little house icons and I am using the debt snowball method, but it's not debt. We should maybe call it savings snowball method where every envelope gets a fixed amount because there are 15. I try to put $1 into each one every time, but as that happens, so they range anywhere from $38 all the way down to $4. So as that happens, all of a sudden, my small ones begin to get filled up and then my larger ones start to get filled up faster and faster and faster. So let's see this in action. So I know, counted it out, I have $30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I am going to actually, since I have 30 and there are 15, everybody's gonna get $2 instead of $1. And I know that my large ones are nowhere near filling up. So I don't even worry about counting any of those. Um, you will see what happens in a second. So we're gonna move those out of the way because I'm gonna need that space in just a moment. Um, but this breaks down a lot of what we spend in a month for all of our different bills. All right. Oh, this is the part that takes forever. And that's getting down to the snowball method. All right, almost there because I know there are a handful of them. And you'll notice that everybody had one icon that's colored. That's how I know where I'm at in this process. It's because I color them in as I go along. And everybody got one icon filled in, I pulled them all out, and now I'm going back through to go do that second icon because I need to see those little bits of progress. And then comes the most exciting thing. I come across my first envelope that has two icons filled, which means I know this has $8 in it. I know that my internet has seven, two icons. Family birthdays, two icons. Cobra, two icons. And lunch, two icons. So I know that these don't get any more money, which means here comes the snowball. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. So five of these have icons. All right. 
Now we back up to the next smallest, which is my student loan. I want $12 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I can shade one in. We want a green cap and gown because why not? All right. And then I'd like a yellow tassel. All right, so now I have six of them that have two icons, yay! And then we back up on the phone. I know that I need $12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yay! And that's the snowball method, guys, where the small ones get filled in first, and then we slowly fill up the larger ones a little faster every time. Now I know I only have $1 left and that's okay. It means gas is $1 ahead of everybody else who's in front of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I only needed 12, so so exciting. All right. And slowly but surely, we will fill up the rest of them so that they all have one icon filled in as well. That is my one month ahead, and I love how it's working so far. Those are all of my savings challenges that I am working on stuffing today. If you have any questions, please drop them in chat below, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.